Operating your PowerXL microwave air fryer is very easy and puts the convenience of microwaving and air frying right at your fingertips. It is important to review your owner's manual thoroughly to become familiar with how to operate, cleaning, care and safety, and you'll even find some delicious recipes you'll love. Now let's review the basics. To turn the unit on, make sure the power cord is plugged into an electrical wall outlet. Always make sure your unit is on a flat surface. Now let's look at the One Touch Easy Control Panel. At the top, you will see indicator icons. They let you know what mode is in use. There is the microwave icon, air fry icon, and the bake icon. There is also an icon for the fan, which lets you know when the fan is in use. Below that, you will see the cooking time, temperature, and the weight display. Moving down the control panel, there are three function buttons. They are microwave, air fry, and bake. When you first start to cook, Press a function button to select which cooking function you wish to use. Above that display area are 15 presets you can scroll through by pressing the microwave, air fry, or bake button by rotating the control knob. The presets for the microwave button are popcorn, defrost, melt, beverage, and power. The presets for the air fryer button are french fries, pizza, chicken, steak, and fish. The presets for the bake button are convection, broil, roast, reheat, and keep warm. Bake and air fry have adjustable time and temperature. You adjust these by pressing the time or temperature button and rotating the control dial to the time or temperature you want. Please note, if you use one of the preset buttons, the time and temperature are not adjustable. The microwave mode has adjustable power and time. To adjust the power, press the microwave button and turn the control dial to scroll to the power setting. Then press the dial to confirm and press the temperature button to adjust to the power you need. To set the time, press the time button and turn the control dial to the desired time. To start the cooking process, press the control dial once again. There are also presets for the microwave menu and air fry menu. When you press the button marked micro menu, you will see a set of presets marked C1 through C6. Rotate the control dial to the preset you want for deodorization, dinner plate, soup, potato, vegetable, oatmeal. Consult the microwave programming section of the owner's manual to help guide you or open the door of your unit and look at the chart on the upper frame. It gives you the microwave options and default times according to the weight of what you are cooking. When you scroll to the preset you want, the display will show the weight options. Turn the control knob to scroll through the displayed weights and the correct default time will be set. Then press the control knob to confirm the setting and begin the cooking cycle. Press the control dial at any time during the process to increase the cooking time by 30 seconds. When you press the button marked Air Fry Menu, you set the unit to the Air Fry function. There are 13 presets from A1 through A13 in this menu. They are frozen steak fries, frozen onion rings, frozen chicken nuggets, frozen chicken wings, frozen fish sticks, bacon, vegetables, air fried eggs, roast chicken, breaded shrimp, pizza slice, cake, and cookie. Consult the air fry programming section of the owner's manual to help show you the air fry preset times and temperatures. Or open the door of your unit and look at the chart on the upper frame. It gives you the air fry menu presets and default times according to the weight of what you are cooking. Turn the control dial to scroll through the options and the correct default time and temperature will be set. Then press the control knob to confirm the setting and begin the cooking cycle. Press the control dial at any time. It adds 30 seconds to the cooking time. To set the clock, press the clock timer button once and use the control dial to set the hour. Press the clock timer button again and dial to set the minutes. Then press the clock timer button once again to lock in that time. To set the timer, press the clock timer button twice and rotate the control dial to your selected cooking time. Then press the control knob to lock in your timer setting. Press the stop lock button to stop the cooking process at any time. To start the cooking process again, press the control dial. Once the cooking process is stopped, pressing the stop lock button again cancels the cooking time and enters standby mode. To defrost, put your frozen food into the unit and press the micro button and turn the control dial to the defrost preset. 
press the control knob to confirm the defrost setting and rotate the dial again to scroll through DEF1 through DEF6. There are settings for vegetables, fruit, chicken, fish, meat, and broth. Press the control dial to confirm your choice and then turn the control dial again to select the weight from 4 to 100 ounces. Then press the control knob again to start defrosting. When the unit beeps twice or about halfway through, turn your food over. Place it back into the unit and press the confirmation button to continue the defrosting process. When the timer is complete, the unit will beep five times. When no cooking program is running, the appliance is in the standby mode. In standby mode, only the time is displayed. The other icons are not illuminated. Once the panel is darkened, if you press any button on the display, it will illuminate. Hold down the stop lock button for about three seconds until you hear a beep. This will lock the panel, preventing children from setting the unit or turning it on. To unlock, once again hold down the stop lock button for about three seconds until it beeps. That's the operating panel, and that's how operating your Power XL Microwave Air Fryer can be one touch easy. For more information, helpful videos, tips, tricks, and delicious recipes, please go to www.powerxlmicrowaveairfryer.com. Power XL. Life keeps you busy. We help you excel.